Pardon? I'll be sitting with the box. You're going to be sitting with the box. <laughs> Me and Ollie are going to do a review on this um, robot hoover. I got it from Lidl today, £79.99. I've wanted one of these for the longest time. Um, Hopefully it's smart as it says it's smart. Well, we're going to unbox it and then we're going to give it a try. Yeah, yeah. And see, because I've got hard flooring downstairs, but I've got a rug. So it'd be interesting to see if it can get up and over the rug. If it can't, then, well, it's a bit pointless. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to help me set it up, eh? Yeah. <gasps> mm. 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 What's it do, It uh, looks like... He's so interested to see what this is about. Um, it's... It's com actually common sense. It hoovers up all the hair and mess. Looks like it's. Oh no! You pull it from that. <laughs> Come on, then. I know you're desperate to see what it looks like. Who loves instructions? Oh, it's white. It looks silver on there. Oh, uh, because it. They had. Um... Do not drop it. Ooh. <gasps> Little brushy hands. That's a charger. Mummy, when. Yeah. Who likes instructions? Me. <laughs> yeah, you do. When you're doing Lego, right? Yeah, it's the entire point of the Lego. No, the entire point is to be a master builder and create anything. But he has to follow instructions. So if he's got a Lego no. set and he loses the instructions, that's it, game over. True story. But I can do, sometimes I can build stuff by myself. Like, oh, oh. Oh wow, Ollie! Oh look, so that in there. That's all where. Come sit down, sweet. That's all. Because you can't look. Everyone can only see this much of you, and this bit is the best bit. <laughs> <laughs> so in there. It that's where. That's where all the dust and. Let's be truthful. Dust more like dog hair. Hopefully, oh. this picks up all the dog hair. Oh look, and there's a little brush. It is so that you can clean it out. I think we're gonna have to charge it. <gasps> That's rarely with stuff. Let's give it a go then, what do we reckon? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Um, I need to put these on. Absolutely. Right, look what you're doing, make sure it's the right way. Well done. Did it get ya? Did it bite ya? Yep. Yeah. That's me. Sure. <laughs> Did it bite you again? Nope. There's a bit of cardboard there. We don't need that bit there. I think it's the... Alright, should we charge it, do you think, or just turn it on and wish for the best? Yeah, wish for the best. Put it down then. See what happens. Oh, here we go. It's on the go. Move! Oh no, it's stuck. Oh my gosh. It's stuck under my table. <laughs> this floor, I have Hoover today, but Pixie's like, she's a bit of a menace, where she loves to like rub her fur into the carpet. So yeah. I'm always having a trouble of getting the hair up off the rug to the point of like, I don't even want a rug anymore. But you know what I think I can do with this table? Make it higher. Absolutely, and how would I do that? I'm putting extra pieces of wood or fits that and absolutely them together. absolutely high five because it is a smidgen too low a smidgen you can even get like little felt things that I can put under the feet even of the table books. and that was I'm not putting books under the table you nutter <laughs> right let's get this thing under here right little Ella's asleep but it's not very loud is it I've actually put Pixie into the other room because I don't want her attacking it, but we might test her <laughs> to see what she thinks of now it. Now we've dislodged it, let's see if it will work. Go on, press the button again. Push it hard. That's it, the light comes on. Is it picking up hair? What do we think? No. No, don't go under. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's funny? 
Oh no 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 no! Oh wait! Wow! It's a funny little thing, isn't it? No 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 no! It's smart. Holly, it's so smart. Oh my god! Oh, yeah! Off it goes, look, off it goes. You can find it out. Changing bag. Nappy box. <laughs> <laughs> so you go and let Pixie out, see? See what she I thinks of it. Get in the Let's go behind it. Go on then, let Pixie out, see what happens. Go and open it. Pix! Let's see what she thinks of it. You can't come out. <laughs> <laughs> she might be alright, you know. Yeah. This might actually be a bit helpful. Well, that's the plan. It hasn't come over here yet, though. It's just over in the same spots over and over again. So one bit was really clean. It, well, yeah. Yeah, but it wouldn't come down here though. Oh. Ready? Let's see how much it picks. Oh! I'm gonna take the damn thing out. You know, this is why you need instructions. Oh! It actually did pick up some stuff. It actually did, Ollie. It actually did. How do you open something? I think you open it. Ah! Ollie's so smart. Are you sure it didn't? It didn't come with uh, dirt inside it. Wow! No, wait, and it has it. picked up a quite a lot of. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's actually picked up quite a lot of. Was that on that floor? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hey, wow. Should we put it on? Show Daddy. Yeah. Oh yes, please. Is it that? Was it that way or was it the other way? Can they get the boys as well. Ah, oh, it's here. Where? So where does that go? Right. You see that and that. Yeah. He's a super fixer, isn't he? He is. I he think the handle's got oh. to go up first, does it? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. You're so smart, Ollie. Thank you. I don't know why, but I'm so interested in these type of things. I know. That's because you love to fix and build things. Yeah. Should we call the boys in and show them? Yeah. Go on. Ella's awake now. It's quite quiet as well. It's not noisy at all. Yeah. It's quiet. You can get ones, but they're a lot of money, and they map your floor, so they know where they've been. Right. But this one's a bit, and the um, the table is a smidgen too low, a smidgen. So if you put like foot things underneath those to okay. raise it ever so slightly, it will be able to go straight underneath the right. table. Oh, that'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, Pixie didn't, I put Pixie in there because I thought she might attack it. And I thought, you know, we just bought it, let's not break it up. Yeah, but... But she, not, she was like, what's that? And just ignored it. She, she was scared of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, 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 Pixie's proper side-eyeing it. Oh, Lou, you are funny. <laughs> <laughs> She's such a big girl. Danny went and got a couple of her six to nine month grows out just to see how well they'd fit because her three to six just is very tight. And I mean, her hands, they're a little on the long side. They fit her quite well. Danny's like, oh, we need to get the rest of them out, but I'm just not sure. I'm not sure. What do you think? They fit her quite well, right? <laughs> but it means that she's got all these clothes that she's not worn. She just grows out them too quickly. Don't ya? Don't ya? She's just woke up from a nap. I was hoping to get in the garden while she had a nap, but I, I lost my slot. You woke up too quickly for me. You woke up too quickly for me. I might try and take her out with me. See how much she enjoys the garden. Um, I could put her in a walker, I suppose. Because she likes to be upright. She don't necessarily like to be laying down. 
I've tried to put her in her buggy in the garden when I've been doing garden and she cries unless she's being pushed. Yeah. Yeah. I want to plant some plants that I've got this week. I've got some slow release fertilizer little pellets that I want to put around some of my hardy plants like uh, my roses and my hydrangea and my hebes and things like that. I want to put them around there. Yes, I want to get the pond cleaned out later, but I'm going to ask Cameron to help me do that because it needs its spring maintenance for sure. This week, my dishwasher broke. Oh my gosh. Danny's ordered a part and still waiting for it to come. But because my dishwasher and my washing machine are plumbed up with one, is it one sewage? The waste is connected. Yeah, the sewage is very, very close and the one's out. Yeah. So if one's out, they're both out. So I've had no washing machine this week. Washing everything up by hand. It's been a week of it, really. Yes, I've got washing now coming out of my ears. It was be it's been raining quite a lot this week. So yesterday Danny started painting the bathroom because he couldn't get out and do the side of the house. So he's done all the prep work and started cutting in. So he wants to paint the bathroom, which will be nice. Which will be nice. Yes. Are you gonna come? Oh, there's the door. Oh, hopefully that is my dishwasher part. Yay! Sorry. <laughs> do washing and stuff again, if that's life again. <laughs> oh my gosh we go in the garden should we get your coat on should we get your coat on where Danny's off he's been doing the school run yeah just stay off and today off and then he's working the weekend so Ella's not dressed because she doesn't have to be so we get dressed. Yes. I'm thinking about putting in a side fringe because I said to Danny, I'm when my hair was down and in my face before little Ella, it was okay. But because I have to sort of wear my hair away from her because otherwise she pulls it, I'm missing my fringe more. It took me so long to grow it out as well, and now I'm like, I miss having a bit of hair around my face. So I may cut that in later. Yes, yes, yes. Lit louvers on charge. I put it in all the rooms and it done such a good job of picking up like little bits of dust and stuff and hair. I really like it. It's doing such a good little job. It doesn't pick Pixie's hair up 100% on the rug though. That's the only problem. But yeah, it's okay. It's a helping hand. It's a good little thing, isn't it? Well, the, the, the best thing about it is you've not got to use your attention. You can actually put it on in the kitchen, bugger off and do and do something, come back and it's done yeah. the majority of it. Because the thing is when you've got lots of kids, they're always eating, aren't they, and the boys? They're always having toast or sandwiches and stuff like that, so there's always crumbs yeah. falling on the kitchen floor. And how many times do you say to your kids, wipe it into your hand? <laughs> and then put it in the bin, and no. they're like, yeah, sure, whoosh, on the floor. <laughs> so this morning, because I kind of hoovered the kitchen out yesterday, and then you go to bed, you wake up, and where the kids have had breakfast, there's crumbs all over the kitchen floor. So this morning, while I made my cup of coffee, I just pushed the button, and it was like clearing up all the kids' crumbs from breakfast while I was making a cup of coffee. How cool is that? That's really good, right? Yes! So, we love it. 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 You're going to be a good girl. You're going to come in the garden with me and not moan. And not moan. That's the key. We don't moan. Ella's got pretty blue eyes. Pretty blue eyes. Pretty blue eyes. Ella's got pretty blue eyes. And a tinge of ginger in her hair. Yeah! So which, which is the bit that you replaced? That bit. The pump and the heater. The pump and the heater. You are so clever. 
Mm. And look how you spend your days off fixing stuff. Oh. Yeah. Daniel always says, stuff breaks in this house quicker than you can fix it. No, no, we've just got a lot more broken stuff than we've got fixed stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so far, little Ella is letting me be out here. We'll see how long it lasts. Um, so this is the all-purpose plant food that I want to put in. And these irises and then the begonias. I think I want the begonias in these two window boxes because there's four so I can have two in each and I'm going to put other stuff around them and then they will look stunning because they're cascading ones they'll look gorgeous by the time summer's around so I'm gonna put them. So look what Nanny brought me down. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. It was my brother's little boy's one. Yeah. She loves this thing. Don't you? You love it. Hi. 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 <laughs> yeah, you love it. You're such a bouncy baby. I'll cut a guy coming. So, it's time to clean this out. My water is actually rather clear. It's just the algae that sticks to um, the side of the wall and predominantly that plant. I'm gonna pull this out as well, clean it all up. And anything that's, see all the bits of next door's tree? It, when it sheds it always lands in here and from looking online I need to get that out because as it breaks down it's letting off nutrients into the pond and that's what's causing the algae. I need to get it out. Mm, it's so mucky and it's like green candy floss where you swirl it in your hand and you just get a big chunk of it.
Ollie's home from school. He finishes early on a Friday, so he's watching Ella for me. He's got an ice lolly and he's giving it some to Ella and she likes it. So I just took a cut in off my iris and I'm gonna pot it up and plant it slightly over that way because I've noticed where my other iris is, none of the algae is growing around it because it's eating and absorbing all the nutrients, the excess nutrients in the pond. Yeah, it's amazing how much algae is coming out of that pond. The water looks really murky because obviously anything that's settled to the ground has now been kicked up but um, it will go through the filter and Danny will clear the filter out. You don't have to clear the filter out do you though? I'm sure if dad showed you once you'd be able to do it right? So Danny will do that at a later date and then because um, I don't know how it all comes apart either and that's another job that he's doing but it's all about spring maintenance. The sun is right in my eyes. Um, I made a little barley straw parcel I've got a big thing of barley straw and then um, this like meshy stuff is from where the oranges and the plums were wrapped in. As barley straw breaks down it lets off an enzyme that eats away the algae supposedly. Um, so I'm going to chuck this in and it will sink and then start to break down and then I'll fish it out when it's done its job and put a new one in. So <laughs> cleaning the pond continues. Look at all that. All that algae came out of the pond and I didn't get all of it because it's absolutely impossible to get every last bit. The thing is, it looks white on camera. It doesn't look grey at all. But I suppose if I show the sink, you can see the white to the grey. But if I go like that, it just... It's white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I love the colour and it won't show all the handprints from the boys. No. And if it does, we'd wash it off now. Yeah, because it's not matte silk. Yeah. I got the boys to go up in the attic and get me my Easter or Star stuff out. Um, they're so good. I'm so blessed to have boys that do so much for me. Like yesterday, Cameron cleared out the pond with me and you just do so much for me, right? Such good boys. Um, or oh, men. <laughs> one man, one boy. Um, Cameron won't go in the attic because it's really scary and really high up there because you've got the attic stairs which is like that but they sit on top of our stairs so it's quite a drop whereas Liam's got absolutely no fear and will fly up and down and not worry so between the pair of them because I don't really want Liam carrying stuff down because it's quite a drop so Cameron will be there reaching out for things and they work, they work as a pair so oh my gosh today I'm gonna start putting things out. I've got some really, really lovely things. You almost forget how much you've got, right? I love this. I'll put this on my on my altar. So that's what today's going to bring. That looks a bit tatty now, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely looks like a bird's nest. I'm trying to figure out where I want everything. I still have my Harry Potter stuff in my table. Usually it's these two bunnies and these little nests that I put in my table, but I'm just not feeling it this year. I may go down to Poundland um, and get some big bunny reefs that I've seen there. I think they're about three pounds. So two of them in there would look lovely. I don't, I didn't pick them up because I don't like the brightness of them. But if I unpicked everything that's on it and put all of these tones and these tones like I like things that look yeah I like things that look a little bit rustic but like natural toned and I did want to get some glass eggs for this but they're so expensive I saw some really beautiful purple ones I don't want to put like oh I don't know I don't know <laughs> I love these crystal eggs. My mum got them for me at a car boot and they're absolutely beautiful. It's a shame really that I only sort of pull them out um, during this time of the year. The boys actually do have one of these in their rooms as well. That's mad, look how big that is, look how big that crystal is. It's huge. I have this basket of books and then whatever season we're on, I just put the relevant book towards the front so this is the spring equinox book and then obviously there's lots of different ones in there i have these little bunnies 
Look at this, look. Some bunny loves me. A good egg. We were reading our book, The Spring Equinox, and in here it's got how all around the world um, people celebrate this day in different ways. And on this page it says how people ate pancakes. So me and the boys are having pancakes, aren't we? Yep. Why did they say pancakes? Um, because um, the pancakes um, uh, look um, gold and and they're in a circle and that represents the sun. Absolutely. So they look they look a bit like the sun, don't they? So that's what we're having. So it's been a couple of days since I cleaned my pond, and I just thought I'd come and show you. It's looking really nice. Although the sun is reflecting, so you can't really see. But my fishies are there. I have some baby goldfish that still haven't decided what colour they're going to be. When I was looking online, it says they can pretty much choose their colour. So they're part silver, part gold and still part black. So I can't wait to see what they're going to turn out like. But it seems whenever you come to the pond, they tend to hide. Oh my gosh, there's a bird just about to go into my bird box. Oh look! This will be the first year they're going to use it. They used to go in, see where that white bit is there? There was a hole in the roof. And so uh, Danny repaired it and built that. <laughs> and then they never used it. And I was like, oh, we scared them away. We should have just left the hole in the roof. You know, but they're actually using it. And my little <laughs> bird box has a little bird box. Look, 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 look. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, I have to tell Ollie. Oh, I'm so easily pleased. I'm going to take a picture and send it to Danny. Oh, there's one up there too. Look. Oh my gosh, they're fighting over it. I need more than one. So with Liam's school, they've given him these COVID tests. And they're like pregnancy tests, right, where you get the results within 30 minutes. He has to do one on a Sunday and one on a Wednesday. I think that's absolutely fascinating that you can do at-home tests. Yeah. Cameron's college aren't giving them out. Mm -hmm. He has to have a test every two weeks. He has to go and have a test. So what's in it? Oh, there's three in there. Wow. I won't record you actually doing it because yeah. ain't no one wanna see you sit that dang throat. And up your nose, do you know what I mean? It's a bit they're horrible. You probably gag as well when you're yeah. doing them. They're not nice at all. But yeah. Wow. Have you done one of these at school already? Yeah. Oh, so you know how to do it? Are you alright darling? Yeah. I had to cover my ears. I can't stand hearing people gag. Bless ya. You look like you've got tears in your eyes. I do. It's disgusting that, isn't it? Can I see? Is this supposed to happen? Yeah. Yeah. Can you see how it's going along? Yeah. Yeah, that means it's working. So we waited the right amount of time and his results are negative. So, school tomorrow. Mm. It's a strange old world we live in, right? Yeah. But it's keeping you safe. So I'm just coming on to end my weekly vlog. Editing my vlogs, I was thinking, is this really one vlog? They're such a mishmash, my videos. Maybe I should do it where I got the vacuum and then I do that as a video. And then I clean my pond and then that's a video. And then 
I do maintenance in my garden and that's a video. What do you think? <laughs> that would be a lot more work, but would it though? Because rather than spending all Sunday evening editing and stuff like that, <clears throat> I would just break it up. But yeah, that would change my schedule and stuff. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. Anyway, I'm going to end this video, start a new one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.